Hello and welcome back. How is everybody? So you've bought yourself an old lathe, like me. This is a 1966, it's over 53 years old. And they all come with their different problems like dirty oil and worn out parts. And sometimes little simple jobs that need doing but we don't bother. Like changing the bed wipers, which is a consumable. But I don't think you can buy it anymore. I think it's a hard felt. So there's nothing else better to do than whip it off and see what it's all about. Oh dear. Oh. There we go. Let's take this over to the bench and have a closer look. Well, it sure looks crusty. Would you say that's past. <laughs> I think that's past its sell by date. It almost looks like OXO cube. <laughs> so I'd say that was ready for replacement. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's have a look. So the best job for this is an old pen knife off the car boot sale for 15p. It's well oil impregnated, I don't know if it would be any good for a fire lighter. Oh, just look at that. <laughs> That's near enough, just a little bit of sanding. But what do we replace it with? That's the question. Yes, what do we replace it with? A lot of a think about that and have a quick look on the internet. Well, I had a look and I found this stuff is a hard felt pad, 5mm thick and they put it on the bottom of furniture so when it slides over wooden floors it doesn't scratch the floor. And I think it could be the job. So next thing we need to do is cut out the pattern. So let's go back to the lathe and have a look. We're back at the lathe and we need to fit the hard felt to the bed to get that shape and I decided to use a little bit of milk buckle plastic because it's easy to cut and shape with a pair of scissors and it's not a bad fit at all. Nice. So let's cut it out. Let's cut the felt out. That's an easy one. I'll see if I can cut it with a knife for starters. Uh, my dress making skills aren't up to scratch really. So let's see how we get on.
I think with just a little bit of compression you get a nice seal. Let's just see if I can poke an all and find the screw hole with an all. He says it's in there somewhere. Yep, that'll do. Just have to make the moles a little bit bigger. He says. That's it. Tricky this. I think we'll get there in the end. Well, that was pretty tough, but I managed to punch through. This felt does have a sulfur adhesive label on the back, which I think is what they use to stick on the bottom of the chair leg or the table. So you don't need that really. And it's just a simple matter. I'm bolting it back on. I want a little bit of pressure if I can and I'll get a nice seal. The eagle eyed of you might notice this one's got missing a washer, but I do like to keep it as original as possible. <laughs> I will find one later. I've only just noticed myself. There. I think I need to put a little bit of oil in it now. Well, it likes that, and it's soaking it up well. So it's got good oil retention. Should give her a spin. Get that. That's very nice. I think I'll do the other side now. I'm just going to have a quick look of the wiper on the other side of the bed which is a much simpler affair as it's just flat and not triangular. But these seem to be full of crud. You can tell they've probably never been off, ever. Oh, that's a toughie. I just wonder if there's a similar sort of material for the existing wiper or something different. It's almost if the other one was hard cork. I don't actually know. That's on hard. See, I knew these carbure hammers are coming handy sometime. No, it's similar again. So it's just another job of whipping that out again and putting another piece in. I think this one's just a simple offer up job. 
nothing fancy. You don't have to go to the trouble of making a, a template. Just get a rough idea of height. Bit right. I should have started off with well, that one shunts off first really <laughs> It's the easy one to do That's really easy, that's almost a 5 minute job So, if you've not got any, just be thinking about it It's only a 5 minute job For the back one Okay, I look a bit more trimming That's it Need them also look a bit bigger, eh? There we go. Easy peasy. Do you think I'll make a good hand model for the Argos catalogue? <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe the bit of Ruffingtons, they've had a bit of a nerd life, like me. Just a thought, there's an extra income, I could have been a hand model for Argos catalogue. Maybe not. Perhaps you have to get your bloody hands out of the way, Chris, so everyone can see what's going on. Alright, bit of oil. I don't know how long these things are going to last. I mean, I'll put them through the paces. If they last six months, it doesn't matter. Let's just hope they last more than a week. Or has this video has been pointless? I will get back to you if they're no good. But I am hoping they're alright. Seems to be doing a job of wiping. I do like them nice and tight. I'll just put some crap on it. Right, I'll just simulate some crap like I've been busy. Oh, look, Chris has been machining. Let's see if he gets rid of it. It does. Happy it is. There's all the old crusty bits. And I've now finished the front. That's got both wipers on. All I have to do now is give it a jolly good clean. So I hope you enjoyed that and you found it of interest. Thanks for viewing and be sure to come again. I'm going to have a hot chocolate I think.